Welcome. What I've been looking at in these last couple of videos is our image, our understanding of God, because our understanding or image of God is essential to how we relate to Him. If you have a negative image of God, you will have a negative relationship with God. Many atheists, for example, will say that they do not believe in an old man in the sky who throws down thunderbolts. Well, this is just bad theology. They are rejecting bad theology. I also do not believe in an old man in the sky who throws down thunderbolts. So atheists and I are in agreement there. I believe in the God revealed through the life and teachings of Jesus. And one of the main things that he revealed was that God is servant. God is our servant. God washes our feet. God humbles himself before us out of his love for us. This is a very radical, counterintuitive understanding of God. Most of us do not understand God in this way. Most of religion has said that God is someone to be feared. God is someone to be served. God is somebody to be worshipped. Jesus turns that around and says, God wants to serve us. This is amazing. This is incredible that God out of his love for us, wants to serve us. Some atheists will say, what's one thing the Bible teaches us that we cannot come to through the use of our own reason? Well, there's a couple of things, and I think this is one of them, that God wants to serve us, that God is our servant. We see this in the 13th chapter of John's Gospel, on the night before the Passion. In John's Gospel, we do not get the usual breaking of the bread narrative as found in Matthew, Mark and Luke. John gives us his theology of the Eucharist in chapter 6 of his Gospel. In chapter 13, he tells us the story of the washing of the feet. John is giving us a, um, a theology of the Eucharist, if you like. During the time of Jesus, it was the role of the slave or the servant to wash the feet of the guests when they came to your home. This was a beautiful form of hospitality and welcome. And that's why when Jesus gets to Peter, Peter says to him, Peter objects and says, Lord, it is I who should be washing your feet. You shouldn't be washing my feet. This is a normal, natural reaction for Peter. But Jesus says to him, if you do not allow me to wash your feet, you can have nothing to do with me. In other words, if we do not allow God to serve us, we can have nothing to do with God because the God that Jesus came to reveal is a servant God. And that's why Peter said to him, well, then my whole body as well. So the whole essence of faith is this allowing God to serve us totally and completely. God is love and it is the very nature of love to serve the beloved. And we are the beloved of God. Last video, I think I was saying that faith is a receiving of God. Faith is a receiving of the fullness of God. Well, faith is also allowing of God. Faith is an allowing God to serve you. Faith is an allowing God to love you. Faith is an allowing God to wash your feet. God is roaming the earth, looking for those poor in spirit, those little ones who will allow him to love them. Mary was one of those little ones, and that's why she sings in her Magnificat. God has looked down upon the lowliness of his handmaid. He has done great things for me. He has pulled down princes from their thrones and exalted the lowly. The hungry has, he has filled with good things, and the rich he has sent empty away. So come before God, humble and lowly, and he will raise you up. You don't have to do great things for God, because he wants to do great things for you. Bring to, come to him tired and dirty, and he will wash your feet. Come to him hungry, and he will give you bread to eat. Come to him thirsty, and he will give you the water of his spirit to drink. Just like Jesus washed the feet of the apostles who were about to abandon him and Peter who was about to betray him and Judas who was about to deny him, come to him sinful and broken and he will wash you with the tears of his forgiveness 
and he will wipe your sins away with the robe of his mercy. And then he will tell you to go and do the same for the salvation of the world. Thank you for listening.